After several years of going underground to reinvent, Roland Idubo has come back with a bang to present his relief and sculptural paintings in his second solo exhibition, Rebirth. What you see here is about seven years of trying to, how do I put it, rediscover myself. So uh, this process of recovery, of, of discovery, I would term a rebirth because all of a sudden I now know who I am. I've been able to find my footing. It's the result of taking time out to think about the changes he would love to make in his life, in which art is a big part. When a man is reborn, he sees things differently. He is deeper in his conceptions. When he's looking at anything, he's more philosophical about it. So uh, this is what this you know, exhibition is all about. He came with the two-dimensional approach he had decided to embrace with a taint of color and strong issues as well. It is relief, relief sculptures, because I am from Benin City, Edo State, and uh, the Benins, you know, we are known uh, for, for plaques, bronze plaques, wooden plaques, um, ivory plaques, you know, it's not like, just like revisiting that ancient art form. So we call it two-dimensional art. You can see, you can touch, you know, we work with protrusions, projections, depth, and uh, it's basically sculpture, but instead of being in three-dimensional, instead of being three-dimensional, it is two-dimensional. Nowadays, everybody seems to be, you know, taking refuge in painting. It is easier, but I just where somebody needed to revitalize this. Take a good look at all the works. One unifying theme Idubo has is tradition. It shows in pieces like Heritage at Chilogun, which shows a drummer doing his thing. If you have lost touch of your root, what kind of fruit are you going to bear? I think the greatest problem with Africans is that we have lost touch with our very rich cultural heritage. Then the marriage ceremony comes in. A three-series piece. It shows an Igbo traditional ceremony while the bride, dressed in a lovely attire, carries a task filled with wine and seeks out her groom, ignoring calls from other men, which is usually part of the act. European highly esteem the Africa for our communal living. They, 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 they don't understand it, they don't live it, but somebody who came here was able to bring out just that element of the African tradition. I said, look, I love the way, I love the communal lifestyle that you people, you know, you practice. We, we are brother's keeper. We have always been. But because of civilization, we've lost it. Corruption takes its root from, you know, our losing our traditional roots. There are other fascinating works, such as Freedom, where the artist calls on everyone who has been bound by the shackles of corruption to break the chains. But Mali talked about uh, mental slavery. The average African is still a slave in his mind. I don't know whether in Nigeria we have within our, uh, uh, what do you call it, our, uh, we have within our plan, rolling plan, five years, ten years, uh, the, the dream of building our own computers, the dream of having, you know, uh, 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 you know, coming up with, you know, how do I put it, um, groundbreaking research in any area. That is not part of our, you know, our thinking. We believe that technology is for the white man, so we leave that arena to them. We don't even go near there. Roland Idubo has shown the colorful path where sculpture and paintings meet. Most people do reliefs, but they just, it is, it is either black or white, gold or black, but I've decided to introduce colors to give it life. So after the sculptural work, I still go about trying to do a little bit of painting to bring out the life. So basically, this has been some of the discoveries, you know, that 10 years of hard work has, has, has bettered. So that is what I'm displaying, and you are going to see more of this. A style that would definitely be a talking point for years to come.
hang art in every room of the house, even in the bathroom. Don't hang a tiny piece on a big wall. Born in mobile local government's area of Bekiti State, he trained under the Sudan Interior Mission and also studied commercial art, illusion and painting at Yaba College of Technology, Lagos. Josie Ajiboye is an accomplished artist with over four decades of journalistic experience dating back to his days as a cartoon illustrator with the defunct Daily Times newspaper in the 1960s through to the 1980s. He later worked on the African Challenge, Today's Challenge, Yoruba Challenge and Champion Magazine, published in French in Côte d'Ivoire, and a number of other Sudan interior mission publications before he resigned his appointment in 1968. He drew a weekly cartoon column in the defunct Sunday Post, Under Life with Josia Jiboye, and did editorial illustration for the old Morning Post. As a painter of great repute, he has had several successful one-man shows. He had his first exhibition at the Gong Gallery Lagos in 1977. The second by the French Cultural Centre Lagos was held at the French Embassy in 1979. Jossi was nominated for and received the 1991 Veteran Award by the Nigerian Union of Journalists, NUJ in Lagos, in recognition of his outstanding contribution to the development of journalism in Nigeria. He's happily married with four children and they're all artists. He has not only successfully trained other young artists who are now doing very well, his works enrich many private and public collections. You can enjoy Art House on any of these platforms. And that's how we draw the curtain on this week's edition of the show. Feel free to send your comments and suggestions to us on all our platforms. We're always anxious to hear from you. I'm Melinda Akinlami. Have a lovely day. <laughs>